G'day everybody. Um, I'm making this uh, glass jar into a little vacuum jar for uh, HV experiments in a vacuum and uh, I bought myself a glass drill and uh, I'm just uh, recording my first attempt even if it's not quite centered properly. Um, going to record my first attempt to uh, drill through glass using the welding glove as the best protection I've got at the moment. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in my face. Oh, that got a little bit warm. Isn't it nice when things just go right the first time? <laughs> so 7 minutes and 10 seconds to drill a 5mm hole through 4mm of glass. <laughs> okay, so there's my vacuum pump and I've hosed it up with a bit of fuel hose which seems to be uh, not crushing at all under vacuum. A couple of hose clamps. And then this attaches to here which is my junction into the jar. And then uh, I'll arrow dye up that joint there. So nothing, so no vacuum can leak, and then I'll arrow dye the whole lot into the top of the jar. And then I'm going to make some electrodes out of copper wire, winding wire, a couple of bits there. Straighten them out a bit more, and then they'll go through the lid of the jar as electrodes. You know, a spark gap inside, and uh, I'll have to arrow dye them into place too. So see how I go. Okay, so now that's done. Bit messy, I know, but it will do the trick. Um, about 30 minutes, it says, even though it says five minute epoxy, it says give it 30 minutes, so I will. And uh, while I'm doing that, I can modify this lid. There we go, electrodes are in place now as well. So while all this arrow light goes off, I might uh, go read some or view some YouTube. Okay, so I got the bastard working. Very happy, very happy. Um, and I love the colour of the arc. It, it's just magnificent. Um, Royer oscillator. Flyback. Vacuum pump. Now, what I'll actually do first is, is I'll mount this in the tripod, and then I'll turn the light out, and then we'll start the arc and then pump it down, because I reckon it just looks great as it pumps down. And hopefully, the electrodes won't get too hot and melt the uh, plastic lid that would uh, stop the fun very quickly uh, let me knock around with my tripod here but there we go so we can see the two electrodes in the vacuum nozzle and hopefully uh, anything that burns off will uh, will uh, get sucked out by the pump so I'll just quickly fire that up with a low vacuum situation well, there's kind of enough uh, at the moment there's kind of enough vacuum in there still. Oh here it goes now it's degassing. Yep. It's the uh, like I said the insulation burning off the uh, winding wire. So we'll fire up the pump now. Yeah there's still a lot of air in there. Pump this down for a bit. Got no idea what I'm pumping it down to, I've got no vacuum gauge probably not even getting a full vacuum but anyway still a little bit of air coming out we'll just keep pumping until there's nothing and here we go beautiful pretty arc oh. Shorted out there. Oh, the bloody <laughs> the uh, lead came off. The uh, the lead came off. How embarrassing. Maybe I should secure my leads properly. Anyway, I'll uh, try again in a minute. Okay, here we go again. I've got a manual focus this time. My leads are secured a bit some more safely. So once again, we'll pump it down. 
Yep, still some air in there and a lot of the arc. Pretty. I love that colour. I love the purple glowing. And uh, now lights out. Love the way as it heats that electrode, the uh, the arc flows down more. Anyway, I better stop that before. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's gone all Jacob on me. Mm, that's not going to be good for the jar. Have to get those electrodes closer together, maybe. Anyway. My first project involving vacuum and high voltage. Stuff knows how many volts I get. Um, if anyone wants to guess on a 50, 50 millimeter arc from the uh, flyback, what is it, uh, one kilovolt per millimeter or something? So 50 kV maybe. Vacuum environment. And now my vacuum jar has sprung a leak. <laughs> oh well, good shot for a first one. I've got to find a bigger, more solid jar and then I'll start again from scratch. Thanks for watching. It was really nice and pretty to look at while it was running.